If you've purchased your UPC code through GS1, but you're still having issues trying to use it to create new listings, or even if you had already active listings suppressed because of it, then stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to fix your Amazon UPC issue. My name is Ali Hobart and welcome to the Amazing Escape Plan channel where we share extremely valuable tricks, tips, tutorials, everything related to selling on Amazon and e-commerce in general. So without further ado, let's get to it. Amazon has been cracking down on verifying UPC codes lately, and even GS1 certified UPC codes have been a target of this effort. We have personally experienced this issue, both when trying to create new listings with our GS1 certified codes, but also listings that had already been running and active and selling for months got suppressed because Amazon could not verify it. But Thankfully, there is a way to fix this issue, although it's not instantaneous. A very quick disclaimer, if you have just purchased your UPC code through GS1 in less than 48 hours and you're experiencing issues, I would advise for you to wait 48 hours since the purchase for you to actually see if the error disappeared before you follow along the next steps because it's very common for it to take a little bit longer for your code to actually register in the system. So all you need to do is to create a new case with seller support and send them three documents. So number one is the GS1 certificate and all you need to do is log in to your GS1 account go to my GS1 tab and then you're going to see the identifier certificates box. Click on it and then you're going to be able to search for the exact UPC code that you need to download the certificate for. Do that for every single UPC code that you need to verify. Now number two is this UPC statement letter. Now there's no template that Amazon has given to us, but I have created one and I'll make sure to leave that in the description below that looks like this. First of all, make sure there's your logo and a letterhead that has some company information like the address maybe, your city, your phone number, the email address. So have that at the very top. Also have your name, the company name, the EIN number, and all of the UPC codes that you're trying to verify. So you need to state that you and your brand, you own those UPC codes, they have been purchased through GS1, and you need to actually sign that statement. Again, I'll leave this template in the description below. It is a Google Docs template, so all you need is to have a free Gmail account and you're gonna be able to open and then go to File, make a copy, and you're gonna be able to edit and do all of your own information in the file. Do not click the share button or request access because that is a template you need to create your own copy to be able to edit. All right, so number three is going to be your proof that you are related to this brand, the brand that is shown on the GS1 certificate. So a few examples are an EIN letter, the state registration document, or maybe a bank statement. In our case, we actually submitted two documents, both the EIN letter and the state registration, just because we wanted to be certain that they're gonna fix our issue, but again, they actually only request one document. And that's it. What you have to do is just create an email type of case with seller support. So don't do the phone call, do the email. So you're able to attach those three documents. You can click on add attachments, upload all of the documents, and then just write a brief 
description of your issue, say that you're having issues with your GS1 certified UPC codes that you want to verify, and that's why you're attaching the documents in the case. And also, if you already have ASINs associated with those UPC codes, make sure to include those as well in a very organized way and submit it. Now, this may take a few days, but an agent from Seller Support will reach out to you back through email and let you know that maybe if they need something else, or in our case and other cases of people that I heard following these exact steps, they just said that we apologize for the inconvenience and you're able to use your UPC codes now, or if your listing was already something that was active and created, then you should be able to see it reinstated. And that's it, that's all that you need to do. It just requires a little bit of patience, but hopefully this won't be the case for long and Amazon will actually catch up on automatically verifying your GS1 certified UPC codes, but I hope that you found this video valuable. And if you did like the video, you're also going to love the video that I'm putting here on the screen right now. And thank you so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.